Welcome to Destination Everywhere, where Mandy, Orlando, and doing nothing in the back seat to help is Abraham at Great Pyrenees. We're painting a canvas of Kansas, the Sunflower State, taking you inside the frame to the northeast, focusing on these five towns. In this video, we visit President Eisenhower's childhood home in Abilene, then the pretty prairie town of Manhattan. It's the little apple on the prairie. We skip down the yellow brick road in Wamego and hit the Oz Museum to meet Dorothy and Abraham meets Toto before we head to the capital, Topeka, where the arts and murals speak a thousand words of history. We learn more history in Kansas City, our last stop at the World War I Museum and the ornate Union Station. And of course, we're overdosing on the world-famous Kansas barbecue. See, Kansas is more than just fields of wheat and hurricanes. Abilene, Kansas, famous because the infamous Wild Bill Hickok was once the town's marshal and because it was President Eisenhower's hometown. The most popular tourist attraction here is the Eisenhower Center where you can tour his boyhood home and visit the presidential library next door. You can see the town in its heyday at Old Abilene Town, a recreation of a western cowboy town with library enactments of a gunfight and can-can dancers. Or, if you love the ancient Egyptian sport of greyhound racing, the Greyhound Hall of Fame is on South Buckeye Avenue. And if you're into the world's largest, you'll be pleased to know that the world's largest spur is right here, in front of Rittel's Western Wear. Um, what's a spur again? Oh yes, the thingy on the back of the cowboy boot. Where are we off to now, Abraham? You are navigating. That's right, Manhattan. No, not the Big Apple. The Little Apple on the prairie, nestled in the Flint Hills. The old concrete sign by the river welcomes visitors to this college town and military town with its army base nearby. Look at all the swallows! And look across the river to the top of the hill. There's something resembling the Hollywood sign. It's what's called the Manhattan Letters. And we're driving up to the top of Bluemont Hill to take a look. It's a short walk to views of the whole town and the letters spelling Manhattan. Can you see the letter M? Downtown this little apple is so sweet and it's nice to just stroll along Points Avenue, past the courthouse and do a little shopping. And maybe stumble into the Manhattan Brewery for a pint. And it would be rude not to bar hop to Bourbon and Baker just a few doors down, just to see what they have on the menu. Oh, soup. Orlando loves soup. When you're traveling the Great Plains, it's nice to know what flowers, birds, and animals you're seeing. Introducing the Flint Hills Discovery Center, a museum of the prairie's ecosystem and cultural history. And every half an hour, they have a lifelike storm with thunder and lightning. It's a touchy-feely museum and you can open the little boxes and touch, so it's great for kids too. But you don't want to stick your hand in there. With information about animals and the first people of Kansas, the Discovery Center is a great little museum to visit. And so are the grounds at Kansas State University with its World War II memorial, a sculpture. Simple, but beautiful silver dog tags to honor the men and women in military service in World War II, the longest war in human history. It's worth the stop to pay our respects before heading out to Wamego. Because we're off to see the wizard, the wonderful Wizard of Oz. <laughs> What do you do when you're in Wamego, Kansas? You go to the Wizard of Oz Museum and you buy yourself some shoes. And there's no place like home. There's no place like home. <laughs> And Abraham got to meet Toto, Dorothy's pet Ken Terrier from the movie. Well, that's one Abraham, but there are 17 more to meet. Yes, there are 18 of them in Wamego, kind of a doggy statue hunt called Toto's Around Town. 
but first I'm going to the Oz Museum across the street. It's a cute museum, a privately owned collection of memorabilia from the 1939 movie Wizard of Oz, starring Judy Garland. It's a Technicolor world of Oz, and the actual movie is playing in a mini theatre in the back. So you remember the Tin Man, he didn't have a heart, and Scarecrow, who didn't have a brain, and the Cowardly Lion, who didn't think he had any courage, and of course, the Wicked Witch, who melted in the end. The museum brings out the kid in you, and it's a wonderful tribute to a book written by Frank Baum in 1900. Topeka, the capital of Kansas, so of course the first stop has to be the state capital. This neoclassical building made out of Kansas limestone took 37 years to build and was finished in 1903. It's even more beautiful inside. Look at all that gorgeous copper. You can do a free 40-minute guided tour or just potter around by yourself. And you can even climb the 296 steps right up to the Copper Rotunda. The architecture is stunning and the art speaks more than words can say, especially this mural by Kansas artist Michael Young. It depicts segregation in schools and the landmark court case, Brown vs. Board of Education in 1954, which allowed children of every color to learn together. The mural around the corner and a museum of the same name finishes the story and both are well worth a visit when you go to Topeka. Before leaving the capital, we went shopping downtown and treated ourselves to some of the best popcorn I've ever had. We're in Topeka, Kansas on Kansas Street and we've some gourmet popcorn, blueberry cheesecake popcorn from the Cashmere Popcorn Shop behind me. Amazing. Oh look, spicy chili. Oh look, white cheddar. Last stop, Kansas City. It's a tale of two cities, Kansas City in Kansas, and across the river, Kansas City in Missouri. More of the Missouri side in the Missouri videos. So on the Kansas side, there's the famous speedway where you can take a test drive if you're brave enough. Or, for something a little slower, there's the Carousel Museum. Here's a sneak peek of the Missouri side. There's Union Station, a beautiful railroad museum with ornate architecture. And that's just across from the World War I Museum and Memorial. It's a lovely walk around the grounds outside. And inside, you enter the museum over a sea of poppies and learn the story of the war. It's a great afternoon out before a great evening out at the char bar. It's a beer garden with cornhole and croquet on the lawn and mouth-watering Kansas barbecue. Pulled pork butt with deep fried pickles? And smoked burnt ends with smoked sausage and fried jalapenos? Well, it would have been rude not to. And that's a wrap for the state of Kansas. What a fantastic time we've had in the Sunflower State. And if you've had fun with us, we'd love you to subscribe and share. Thank you for letting us share the world with the world. And we'll see you in a new state.